evening, the 25-year-old woman was found unresponsive at the Mardi Gras truck stop Wednesday. She was last seen more than a week ago. Chris Jackman joins us live at the truck stop on Elysian Fields where workers were left shaken by the gruesome discovery. Chris? Good morning, YouTube. What's going on? Uh, some sad shit happened this morning. Well, actually, it, it happened a while ago, but it, I, I just got the link from uh, from my dude in Zello, and he gave me uh, told me about what happened with this uh, young woman that uh, that was at a Mississippi truck stop. She was found dead inside of her truck, y'all. You know. The uh, article was this young lady went to the uh, truck stop. The last time she was heard from was September 9th, and she was found yesterday, all bloodied up, covered in blood, in the truck stop. I mean, in her truck. She was a KLLM driver. She was still a rookie. And, uh, and yeah, somebody, some coward, some fucking dick did that to her. Now, all my, all my Zello people, we was all in there. We was talking about it this morning because, you know, I had to get up uh, early this morning so I can get this load over to my yard. And, uh, you know, we was talking about truck parking, truck safety, you know, safety for yourself. And basically what I wanted to tell you guys is, you know, for all you rookie drivers that's coming into the game, the number one asset is you. You is the number one asset. So in order to protect that asset, you gotta do everything necessary within the legal means of protecting yourself. You see what I'm saying? This young lady, 25 years old, haven't even started to experience life yet. She just got her license or just got into the truck a year ago. And, um, and lost her life. We don't know what happened. The last... The last thing she, the last thing that the truck stop seen was she came in there, made a phone call to her family, and I guess uh, she must have mentioned that somebody stole her wallet, and um, she called the Uber. The Uber brought her back to the truck, and uh, and that was it. Got into the truck and never came. Order twenty-five-year-old Carmisha Thomas. Thomas, who's from Clarksdale, Mississippi, spoke with our CBS affiliates, WREG. Thomas says the last time they heard from Carmisha was Sunday, September 9th, at the Mardi Gras truck stop on Elysian Fields. She says her daughter is a truck driver and worked for KLLM Transport Services for almost a year. Workers at the truck stop tell Eyewitness News they saw Thomas inside the store last Sunday. She apparently used the phone and watched the football game. She called my uh, daughter's phone to let her know that someone had picket pocket her. Thomas says Carmisha then went out and says a Lyft or Uber driver brought her back. That's the last time Carmisha was seen or heard from. So, three days later, the company called the truck stop and said, hey, we need uh, we need y'all to go out there to check on our truck right quick, you know, and hope that it wasn't abandoned or to see if the truck driver was all right, whatever. So they went out there, they knocked on the door, and and they said that nobody didn't answer, but they seen the truck was full of flies. And you're like, what, what the hell, the truck is full of flies? So they called the police, the police came over, bust out the window, and there they found the young lady, uh, lifeless body. Right from the 
fire department breaking the breaking the window out. The store manager, who didn't want to be identified, says she received a call from a dispatcher asking them to conduct a welfare check. They discovered the doors were locked. So when I came out, I banged, we banged on the window, didn't get an answer, but we saw a lot of flies. Police and firefighters broke the windows to the truck and found Carmesha Thomas dead inside. And like I said, me and my Zello people, we, we speculate. Was she naked? Was she raped? Did she, did she, did somebody at the truck stop get jaded? Was it somebody she know? You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of, it's a lot of craziness out here, y'all. And especially for you ladies, y'all, y'all definitely gotta, you definitely gotta be much more vigilant than I would say a guy, right? You know, I don't have no problem. Uh, I, I'm going to say I, I don't have no issues parking anywhere. You know, I I park on the side of the road. I'll park in a dirt parking lot. I always stressed about truck parking because it's so very limited. You know, it's so very limited, especially when you're running low on hours and you, you get to a truck stop and you can't find parking and you got to ride somewhere that, that don't have adequate safety factors in place for you ladies to park at. Now for me, I always say go to the back. That's where you'll find majority of the parking spots. But for you ladies, maybe, maybe find something in the front, you know, where there's light, you know, so that, it, so that you can feel a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more safe. Ladies, get yourself a stun gun. We can't keep weapons in our trucks, but get yourself a stun gun. Get yourself a knife. You know what I'm saying? If somebody look at you sideways and you feel uncomfortable and that motherfucker coming at you, stop that dude in his tracks. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you don't know what these guys out here be thinking. You know, they see a young lady out here like, yo, I want to talk to her and all like that. And yeah, some guys do get jaded when you turn them away. But still, you could turn them away in a nice gesture and be like, little dude, you know, hey, what's up? How you doing? And, you know, I'm in a hurry. Keep on pushing. But this young lady at this truck stop, man, it hurts. It hurts. It's the uh, Mardi Gras truck stop out in Mississippi. Um... I'm, I'm just speechless right now and I just want you guys I just want you guys to be safe out there you know what I'm saying just be safe out there watch your surroundings watch what you do watch who you talk to watch just watch people see their movement see their vibes whether if you want to fuck with them or not all right um this the video right here so Go ahead and check it out. How could you let someone sit on your parking lot for three days and they and you notice they, they haven't came paid? I don't have the answers that I would like to have for her because I mean I don't know what happened to her. The Orleans Parish Coroner's Office says Thomas's cause and manner of death remains under investigation. And I really, really think that someone did something to her. I don't know whether she she been poor.